Republicans are celebrating, an electoral victory and a return to values that this country badly needed, family, security and the economy, neglected under the Democrats, will once again come to the forefront. This is what Donald Trump promised his countrymen in the campaign. Thank you, Lord. Now it's official. Just to see the turnaround and I still can stop watching all the, the polls, everything. He won the popular vote. He won everything. He said it, he was going to do it, and he did it. People want here, they're, they want jobs, they want a good economy, they want the inflation to go down, they want border security. It was a crushing victory, as Donald Trump is already assured of 312 electoral votes, because although Nevada and Arizona have not yet announced the results, only the Republican can win in these states. People have uh, um, nostalgic memories of the Trump administration, especially with respect to the economy before COVID, um, and considering how important that was as an issue in this election cycle, there were a lot of voters who thought that Trump was going to do better on the economy. Republicans are one step away from taking full power in the United States. They are outclassing the Democrats in the congressional elections, parallel to the presidential ones. It is already clear that they have taken back the Senate and are likely to maintain their lead in the House of Representatives. Two biggest promises that he seems to care the most about involve immigration, with his promise to seal the U.S.-Mexico border and his extensive talk about tariffs and trade. After this spectacular victory, Donald Trump is already beginning to assemble a team of his closest associates. Susie Wiles will be the White House Chief of Staff as the first woman in U.S. history. Come, Susie. Come here. Come here, Susie. Chris. Come here, Chris. Susie likes to stay sort of in the back, let me tell you. The Ice Maiden, we call it the Ice Maiden. Come here, Chris. Come here, Chris. Susie likes to stay in the background. She's not in the background. Following the Republicans' electoral triumph, President Joe Biden publicly congratulated Donald Trump and assured him of his willingness to cooperate. I spoke with President-elect Trump to congratulate him on his victory, and I assured him I would direct my entire administration to work with his team to ensure a peaceful and orderly transition. That's what the American people deserve. Meanwhile, the Democratic supporters still can't get over the devastating defeat of Kamala Harris. We saw a lot of disappointment um, because, again, as I just mentioned, she was on paper the better candidate, right? Um, she has a history of, of public service. Uh, she had actual policies in place that she wanted to put, push forward, um, and then again, the character issue. There is still time to celebrate. Donald Trump won't take office until the 20th of January, but Republicans are already preparing for reforms to make America great again.